look at this graph over here and see what's going on. Uh, this green graph is the graph of y equals or x equals 4 minus y squared. And this blue line is the graph of x equals 2 minus y. We're going to revolve this green region about this x-axis, the dotted red line. We have a choice of whether to use the disk or washer method or the shell method. If we're going to use the disk method, we want a typical disk to sort of look like this with its radii perpendicular to the axis of revolution. And that looks like the way to go because to calculate the outer and inner radii, uh, we'll be going to the same graphs both all the way through the interval from negative 1 to 2 along the y-axis. If we use the shell method, well, our typical shell would change when we reach this point over here. And the calculation and setting up the integral would be much more complicated. So we're going to use the formula uh, pi times the integral, definite integral from a to b of outer radius squared minus inner radius squared. In our case, dy. And by the way, to find these points of intersection, you're going to have to use the substitution method to find out that the two graphs intersect at 0, 2 and at 3, negative 1. So the outer radius is the distance from the axis of revolution to the outer graph. And that distance isn't in terms of y. It's this distance right here. For every y value from z negative 1 to 2, this distance will be x equals 4 minus y squared. That's the outer radius there. There's the outer radius squared. Minus the inner radius will be the distance from the axis of revolution to here. That, that will actually create a hole in the solid that's generated. That's why it's called the washer method. <clears throat> so there's the inner radius squared. We're integrating along the y-axis, again, from negative 1 to 3. This looks like the exact answer. The question is, how did I get that uh, from this? This is setting up the integral. Evaluating means we got to square this binomial, minus square this binomial, evaluate from negative 1 to 3, and then multiply by pi. So I'll just get you started here. Uh, let's just focus on this part right here. Four, min four minus y squared, the quantity squared is 16, minus 8y squared, plus y to the fourth. And we're going to subtract from that what we get when we square this binomial, which is 4 minus 4y plus y squared. And let's see, if we combine, uh, remove the parentheses, combine similar terms, and write them in descending order, we get y to the fourth uh, minus 9y squared. By the way, this is probably stuff I would be doing on scrap paper. Plus 4y plus 12. And you can verify that. And at this point, we would be finding the antiderivative of that function so we could evaluate that definite integral. So term by term, we would be raising the exponent by 1 and multiplying by the reciprocal of the new exponent or dividing by the new exponent. So this would be uh, new exponents 3. So divide by 3 minus 3y cubed. New exponent is 2, divide by the new exponent, and plus 12y. We'd evaluate that from negative 1 to 3, and that whole thing we would be multiplying by pi. 
course, evaluating from negative 1 to 3 means put 3 in for y minus put negative 1 in for y. And uh, we get a bunch of fractions <coughs> with fives in them. Uh, so I convert everything to fifths after you've combined similar terms. And 144 pi over 5 is what you get. There you go. Hope that helped. If you have any questions, post a comment. Thank you.